Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome Airstream travel trailer. This one has the optional office. This is a 2021 Airstream Flying Cloud Model 30 FB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Airstream and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's the World's Only Channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this awesome Airstream. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, you're not Will. Hi, I'm Beth Stinson with Airstream of Tampa. Airstream of Tampa, isn't that the number one Airstream dealership in the entire world? It absolutely is. Phone number is 813-452-6344. Beth, thank you so much for helping me today, especially on a rainy day. Yep. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Thanks for having me. Perfect. Let's begin. All right. So let's start up front with the specs. The tip to tip length is 30 feet, 10 inches. The dry weight is 6,757 pounds and the hitch weight is 903 pounds. Show us what's going on up front here, Beth. All right, well, we, so right here we have the power tongue jack. Okay. We got a light, so if it's in the dark, you can see, and this is just gonna go up and down. Off the ball there. Perfect, right. also we have a level here. I we love do. that feature. Yes, we do have a level. Okay, what's it's next? Then we have the propane tanks that are in this uh, nice case. Yes. Behind that, we've got your battery, battery box. Okay. Oh. oh, it's a little wet, guys. Yep, it's a lot wet. There we go. All right. Awesome. Are those regular batteries or um, AGM? So these are going to be the AGM because okay. this does have the solar package. I love it. I love it. Also, what I love, I love how they did this like stainless steel look right. against the uh, for the propane, just to make it more, look more streamlined. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then behind it, you're just going to have the, the front trunk here. And then you've got your storage. Look at that. That's actually really good storage. Yep. You know, one of the problems with these Airstreams that I'm seeing, there's not too much exterior storage. So to have that's huge. Right. And you can also, if you lift up the queen bed, you can also get to it from, from inside as well. Perfect. What's going on up here? All right. Then we have your rock guards. Okay. So as you all know, the Airstream is aluminum. Okay. The rock guards are going to be stainless steel. Why is that? That's going to take a little bit more of the brunt of the rocks that you know are going to come up and, and hit your trailer. I love it. All right. Also, this this is uh, protection from the window, right? Absolutely. I love it. All right. Coming on down the side here. Yeah. Is that a power awning? This is not a power awning. Okay. It's manual on the flying cloud. Okay. But real easy to to maneuver. But look how long it is. That has to be one of the longest awnings I've ever seen. It is. So tell us what else we got. All right. Do you want to go? Well, we've got the uh, aluminum steps here that okay. are really nice. Then if you want to hold my umbrella. Yes. I'll just show you really quickly. I always remember you're just like rolling it up like the red carpet. Oh, wow. So then when you're taking them out and just think of it like you're rolling out the red carpet that is very very cool yep. now tell me a little bit how an airstream's made because they, they were saying something about like rivets and everything yeah absolutely so it's two shells you have the outer shell and the inner shell with the ecobat insulation in between which is about two inches thick of ecobat insulation that's made out of recycled sand and glass um and they're these are rivets so we're not using any staple guns, particle board, nothing, nothing like that. These are rivets that you see that are being made for bridges, yes. um, planes. So yeah, it takes two people to actually rivet this this uh, airstream and about 3,000 3, rivets. That's crazy. Funny how you say airplane, guys. I call this an airplane door. Listen to this. Isn't that amazing? Just, you know, the other RV, you, I know you only sell airstreams. The other RVs don't close like that. That's very cool. Nope. And you know how long it takes to make the door? How long? Eight hours. Just for the door? Just for the door. Goodness. 
Yeah. Look at these tires, Beth. They're the Goodyear Endurance tires. I love those. Yep, Goodyear Endurance. ST225-75R15. Yep. What type of uh, suspension is that? It's the independent torsion. Perfect. And then what's this right here? Absolutely. So if you just open this up, this is just a panel here, a service panel for your refrigerator. I love that. Right. Easy to get to, and you'll notice there's no wood, so you're not going to see any rotting or anything like that. Perfect. Right here we do have power on the outside, tankless instant hot water heater, yep. and I love how many windows we see. Yep, the four windows up there are awesome. Perfect. Let's go around back, Beth. Hey, Beth, guess what I saw uh, in the lake yesterday? Probably an alligator. There was an alligator. Yeah. Don't oh. feed the gators. That's right. So what do we got going on back here? So up top there we have the backup camera. Okay. So, you know, it's going to help you when you're backing up as well as when you're just driving down the road so you can see what's going on behind you. Yes, ma'am. Um, this one on the Flying Cloud, it's an option to get the window awning package. You're okay. always going to have the standard awning on the door side, but if you get the awning package, you're going to have a little one here to shade your windows and then on the, uh, the other side of the trailer. And that's going to shade your windows from the sun and the rain. Absolutely. I love it. And yeah. then right there. So then we have another one, a little storage. I gotcha. Deal. Okay. Very nice. And you're going to want to store anything that you don't mind getting wet. Um, it's definitely going to be getting wet and getting dirty. So a lot of people want to store hoses or, or, you know, their slinky stinkies, whatever. Yes, yes. And speaking of getting wet and dirty, Beth, I told Beth, I was like, Beth, you know what? We don't need to record today. And she said, you know what, Matt? I'm not as scared of a little bit of rain. Let's go out there and do it. So big, big props to Beth. Thank you. Cool. Let's finish up and then we'll head inside. All right. Right there is where we dump our black and gray tank. Yep. We got some hookups here. Okay, wait. 50 yeah. amp or 30 amp? Well, no, this is your cable TV. Oh. If you get you a, a spot where they have a hookup, you can just hook up to cable. And then if you had a portable satellite, you could just hook, hook up to there. I like look. how heavy duty that case looks. Yep. And then uh, you yep. just got your city water. Um, so if you're somewhere where you can just hook up to city water, that's perfect. And then your black tank flush there. So you perfect. Can clean your tank. This is potable water. We say potable. <laughs> potable water? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Right. Outdoor shower. Outdoor shower. And then because this has two ACs, it's going to be a 15 amp. I love that. Two ACs on a travel trailer. And you said there was solar up there, right? Absolutely. I love it. And then right there looks like another place to store the stinky slinky. Yep. Right under there it goes the length of the, I'm sorry, the width of the trailer. Well, Beth, the outside of the Airstream looks great, but I'm super excited to see the inside. Let's go. All take right. a look. Let's go. You want to skip, Beth? Not nose deals. All right. We can just set this down. All right. Let me walk through first. If we can get those lights on, that'd be great. Very nice. Oh, a U-shaped dinette, guys. Here's a little sneak peek of the office. Wow. Beth, this is beautiful. It is, isn't it? Yes, and before we begin, I do want to give the number again. 813-452-6344 to Airstream of Tampa. Call, ask for a salesperson, ask for Beth, ask for anybody. They're all one big team and they can help you here. Yep. Let's start with the bedroom. All right, so in this 30 office, the bedroom's in the front, so it's a front bedroom, and you have your queen size bed here with lots of storage on, on both sides here. Uh, you know, places to hang your clothes. Okay. There's a hanging rod there. And then a little more storage down and below. A little bit more down there for whatever you need to put in there. And also what's, Oops. no, you're fine. Oops. Also what's awesome is the bed completely lifts up. Holy smokes. And then there's the trunk that I was talking about in the front. And then here's bins. It even comes with the bins. You can open it from here. Wow. Lots and lots of storage. That is amazing. Yes. If you don't mind holding this for me, Beth. No. Nope. I'm going to come up here and reach this. Nice cabinetry. Look at that. And you can definitely tell, you know, one of the things with the Airstreams, folks, is they are not cheap, you know, but you can definitely tell that you are getting what you're paying for. I mean, look at these hinges just for the cabinetry here. 
Oh, mm -hmm. slow, soft close. We love that. And then look at this. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. I love that front windshield. Yeah. The, dude, those windows open? It does. I love does that. Open. That yeah. is amazing. You've got some USB ports to charge your phone. Okay. Uh, reading lights. That are directional. So, yep, yep. Yep. Very, very cool. A TV a right TV there. That you know comes off of the wall. You can angle it different. Pretty and cool. then Beth, I'm seeing something that I normally see in motorhomes that I don't normally see in travel trailers. Okay. Is that a light dimmer? It is. Yeah, the lights dim. Wow, that is so cool. And then for uh, for privacy, you have your curtain here. Okay. Okay. Something I think is really cool and I like to point out to my customers is there's a place for your shoes. Nice, right there. Yep. I mean, and you need it. As you guys can see, there's no slide outs in here. So you need to make all the space that you can. Right. All right. And then I just love in this model, all of the storage. I mean, wow. it's, just, it's never ending. Holy smokes. Again, the hardware of the cabinet doors is absolutely insane here looks like we got your media player your dvd blu-ray player yeah very nice we got this sofa here would you mind demonstrating it for us yeah sure um it, it really you know it it's really just a sofa but for a lot of people if you just took this cushion up okay it would definitely be oh like like a little sleeper for a person to sleep there yeah yep. perfect Yep, and then underneath it, this is the return for the furnace. We don't want to do anything with that. Okay. And then we have storage underneath. Wow. So we have a nice storage bin there and then a little place for shoes or, or whatnot. I love it. And then a U-shaped dinette. A U-shaped dinette, but it's not just a U-shape. Oh, thing, it's big boy approved. Yeah, this thing turns. Look at that. Angles. Oh my gosh. So... That is amazing. Yeah. You know, that that's one of the toughest parts. I love the U-shaped dinettes, but one of the toughest parts, you know, being a little bit portly is, you know, I, I can't always sit at every seat. So that's very nice. Right. And then this is very easy. It just pushes down. Um, it yep. goes right underneath here. And then you fill it in with these cushions and you have a nice lounge or bed or whatever you need it to be. I love it. And then do all of these windows open up like that? Yes, they open up at three different levels. So right now, I mean, it's pouring outside. Yeah, we're not going to have them. Yeah. You could actually open it at the, the first here and, and still get some fresh air. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And there is a little bit of storage yep. so underneath this right here. Storage underneath both of them with a way to get in this way as well. Okay. It's a little bit larger and you need to use that there. Well, Beth, do you know what time it is? No, I do not. It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. And for this, we're going to go to Airstream's website and RV uh, and Airstream of Tampa's website to figure out what the MSRP is. So you want to go to Airstream's website and click configurations and then you go down the models. So first we need to select which model we want to do. And for this one, we are selecting the flying cloud. You click start build, select your length. This is the 30 FB, that means we're doing the 30 footer. So you select next. Then it shows you the floor plans. You can do the 30 FB bunk, the office, which is the one that we're in right now, uh, the 30 RB or the flying cloud with the twin bed. So we are selecting the office, select next. All right, select the decor style. So the colors doesn't make a difference. So we will select that one. And then here comes the options. Okay, so you can get the 180 watt solar package with the two AGM batteries, the convection microwave, and the window awning package. And those are the only options, which brings up the summary of the MSRP for the one that we made here to $115,225 MSRP. We all know Airstream of Tampa didn't become the number one Airstream dealer for selling it at MSRP. So make sure you guys give them a call if you want an even better price than that. Great, and again, make sure you guys call 813-452-6344 if you're interested in this Airstream or any Airstream. Ask for Beth. 
Hello. Or any of her teammates and they'll be able to help you. Let's continue the video. Awesome. We did for, I not we, I, I forgot to mention there was an LG TV right there. Yep. yep. Show us this kitchen. All right, so this kitchen, is it's huge. Yes. Right? There's so much counter space. Um, I love the faucet, huge sink. Wow. Um, if we go in here, we've just got little trash can. Hey, that's a $104 trash can, Beth. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right, so it's an option. Standard would come a gas oven here, okay, um, and a microwave here. But a lot of people want to do the upgrade to the convection because it's a convection oven and a microwave. Yes, and then you get more drawers. You know, I had my first experience with a convection oven over the weekend at the NASCAR race. We cooked the DiGiorno pizza in it, and I couldn't believe it. I mean, yeah. just how efficient it was, just like a regular oven. Yep, yeah, absolutely. And that's nice because you just have all of these drawers. Look at how much drawers you gain. That's a amazing. Oven. Yep. Storage. You'll notice Airstream tries to put storage every place they can. Of course. Um, this doesn't. This isn't very deep, but the, you're still going to be able to find something. Yeah, definitely. Um, so you've got your three burner gas cooktop. And then a hood range right there. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah. More storage. I Man. Mean, pantries, drawer, just. I can't believe on. how much storage is in here. So much. Um, here we have, a, a, I, I would probably use this as a wardrobe closet because there is so much storage in the kitchen. Yep. It's got the hanging rod, a light. Okay. Um, and then more drawers. I love it. Yeah. And then right here we do have the refrigerator. Oops. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. And your freezer. Freezer. So two-way fridge, Dometic guys. It runs off both propane and electric. Yeah. Perfect. And right. we're gonna save the office for last. Let's check out this bathroom. If you don't mind holding this for me. Thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. All right. So I know I'm not as tall as Will, guys. But let me tell you. Okay, so this, this, I'm 5'4 five, ish, 5'5 five, five probably in shoes, and I got another 5 inches. So if you're taller than 6 feet, the shower is going to be a little tight. It's because of the radius, you know what I'm saying? Airstream, my little joke is Airstream literally doesn't cut corners, you know? Um, so it's just what you have to deal with. But it is a very nice shower. We got the door here and everything. That squeegees. What do you mean? So. If it, okay. Yeah. So the door is closed, it's going to get wet. But right. when it goes back in here, it squeegees off the water. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Nice little sink right here. Rounded cabinetry. Okay. Yeah. And then, Beth, it's now time for the toilet test. Okay. It is porcelain. <sighs> I don't know, Beth. My arm's hitting this a little bit. <laughs> But well, you have lots of leg room. I know, and there is no slide outs. I'm gonna give it to him. This is a prime poop position. Bing! But let me tell you, it was borderline because my arm was almost hitting that. Now, let Beth, I can't wait to see the office. One thing I do want to say about the bathroom though, Talk to me. is it's all in one. So a lot of the Airstream uh, models, it's separated bathroom oh. and, and showers across the hall. So this, for a lot of people, um, they like it all in one room. That's why we have you on the show, Beth. And that's why Airstream and Tampa is number one in the world. Yeah, thank you. Look at this. So here it is. This is so huge. I love how Airstream was able to identify that there are so many work campers now. So many people that need offices and travel. This yep. is amazing. Yep, it is. It really is. I mean, so many of my customers are just hitting the road and they can work from anywhere. And this is the exact trailer for them. I love it. Let's yep. take a look at this cabinetry. Yep. So overhead here, same as, same as throughout the, the trailer. Some more storage there. A uh, nice workspace here, power tower. Tower of power, That's yeah, right. Beth. That's right, very nice there. Nice storage These here. just come off so you can put your cords. Okay, okay. I love it. Um, we've got a little cubby here for things. Um, this is nice chair, it's heavy duty. It's not gonna roll around when you're driving. Okay. There is a strap that will go across there. So very nice. Keeps it in there. Um, we've got some more USB ports, uh, cable connections, 
another cubby. I love it. And then more storage. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> With a very cool drawer for your files. Mm hmm. What's that? Is and that? Then this is a drawer, but this is, you know, if you wanted more, I love it. More space for your for your desk. Definitely. And then this little hidden gem here, another drawer. That's a drawer in a drawer. A drawer in a drawer. I think you could put like your pencils and you know just whatever, board, whatever you need, right in there. Now this is crazy, but this makes into a bed. So when what you're not does? using it, so this right here, so you'd actually pull this out. Okay. Yep. And pull this out. Okay. Holy smokes. And then the cushions that are in here, you lay, you lay here. So then you have your nice, nice bed. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. That's right. Airstream thinks of everything. Well, Beth, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give them three things we love about this Airstream and three things we dislike. Beth, what do we do first? We do what we like, what we dislike. Okay, are you sure? Um, it's yes. your show, perfect. No, I, I say dislike. Okay, we always, very good Beth, you yes. always want to end on a positive exactly. note. Exactly. Um, I'm going to do all the dislikes and then I'll let you do all the likes. Okay. Unless you have a dislike. I do not. Okay, good, good. <laughs> You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to. I got the dislikes. Okay, dislike for me number one. I love that huge awning. I do not like how it's a manual awning. I'm totally fine with the window awnings being manual, but for a front awning, I just want to be able to push a button. That's me, that's the way I camp, and I just don't like manual awnings. That is number one. Beth, number two, follow me. I love this bedroom. What I don't like is that there is no door. It is just a curtain. It's one of the things, if you want an Airstream, it is what it is. Um, but at the same time, respectively, most of the time it's going to be one or two people in the unit like this, and you're only going to need this when you do have that occasional guest. So that's number two. And then Beth, number third. What would number three be? Let's go outside again real quick. I'm just kidding. No way. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's it's, it's monsooning, guys. It's raining. You know what I'm gonna say? It's gonna be a stretch. I'm gonna say this sofa here. Here's what I mean. This isn't made like a traditional sofa. One, close that. This isn't made like a traditional sofa. This is made more of like a dinette sofa because this this is just padding because it does convert to a bed. I like the more plush sofas, the more heavy, like the big boys or the lazy boys, you know. So the, the sofa's a little stiff, but still, at the end of the day, not that bad. Awesome. That's three things we don't like about it. Beth, now it's time for three things we love about this Airstream. You go first. Okay, well, let's see. First thing I think about is all the storage that's, that's in this Yes, trailer. amazing. Um, I have many customers who full-time in this in this uh, trailer and they they love it because of all the storage i mean it's endless not only that i'm gonna say the not just the storage on the inside but that storage on the outside as well right really really good for an airstream absolutely that's number one yep N number two number two i'm gonna say i really do like the bathroom all in one like that okay it, yes yeah it just makes it feel more like a little home i guess of course um you go to the bathroom you've got the shower you've got the toilet the sink it's all in one in one area yeah. And I love how you educated us, letting us know that most Airstreams aren't like that. Right. Because again, I 100% agree with you. Since that is the unique setup, I love it. Yeah. So and that's then, number two. Yeah. And I mean, number three is just, I'm sorry, we're in the office. It's, yes. It's the office. Let's page. take a look at it again. This is absolutely amazing. Yeah. I love it. You know, most people are still working or I have some customers that do a lot of volunteer work. Yes. This is a, just a space that they can come to. They don't have to make a spot in the trailer to work. They actually have it. They have it already for them. I love it. I love it. And they have privacy too if they want the curtain. Of it's course. not a door. Right. But it's a curtain. But again, the fact that for emergencies, if you needed another sleeping area as well, mm -hmm. the fact that it is going to make a bed, I absolutely love that. Yep. Well, Beth, 
that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. And Beth, thank you so much for being on the show. You're welcome. Again, phone number is 813-452-6344. That is the phone number to Airshima Tampa. Call, ask for Beth, or ask for any one of their sales team. They're here to help you. Also, I have a link to their website down below. Beth, is there anything you want to say to America? I just want to say um, safe travels and have a great time. You only live once, so enjoy it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for volunteering to do this in the rain. You're awesome. You're a rock star. We appreciate everybody for watching. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this Airstream, three things you don't like about it. And Beth, we'll see you next time.